Hey, in this video, we are going to learn about the width and height properties of a view. And I've already emphasized that the width and height properties are mandatory for any view. And now we're going to take a look into it, a deeper look into it. Usually when you're using the graphical layout editor, you drag and drop components into your layout. And each and every view is automatically assigned with a width and a height property. And uh, the width and height properties can have different values. The most common and the most flexible values are fill parent, also known as the match parent. And the other value you can use is the wrap content value. There is also other way to specify uh, the width and height of your view. You can use fixed width and height by using the device independent pixels. For instance, you can specify a view which, for instance, has a 100 device independent pixel value for width and a 200 device independent pixel value for height. You can either use device independent pixel values or you can also use the predefined constants which are fill parent and wrap content. Let's go ahead and see what these, uh, what these constant values can do. Let's select this text view and let me expand this layout parameters. And here we have the width and height property which is fixed to wrap content. Both the values are set to wrap content and I'm going to change the width property to fill parent or even better match parent. You can notice that the size of the view changes. It is almost occupying the entire width of the layout. And what match parent does is the view tries to be as wide as the parent view minus the parent's padding. That is why you can see that this text view has not occupied the entire screen. That's because the relative layout which we have here has a padding and that padding does not allow the view to take up the entire space. In case if our relative layout does not have any padding, this view will occupy the entire width of the screen. And that is where we use match parent. And fill parent is also the same. It is the equivalent for match parent. However, fill parent was used uh, in Android versions 2.1 and lower. And from Android 2.2, this fill parent property was renamed as match parent. And if you look at the value of the constants declared inside the Android source, you'll find both the constants have minus one as their value. The value of the constant doesn't matter much. Uh, it's important to remember that fill parent and match parent are equivalent properties. And we'll be using uh, match parent if your application is supported only by devices from Android 2.2 and above. In case if you want your application to run on lower Android versions, make sure to use the fill parent property instead. And the wrap content property actually makes the size of your view just to the size of the content inside it. This is very well exhibited in this uh, text view. You can see that the height is wrap content, which is only the size of the text, which is contained within this view. That's the idea. So when you're using the graphical layout editor, uh, the width and height properties are always assigned, which is, uh, which sometimes is taken for granted. However, if you're writing your layout using raw XML, you should be very cautious to include both the properties in case if any or one of these properties is missing, in case the layout width property or the layout height property is missing, your application will crash. That's because without the width and height property, Android will not be able to draw your layout on the screen. Let's go ahead and try to remove the width property. I've removed the width property Let's go ahead and try to run this application on our emulator. Run it as an Android application, click on OK. And switch to the emulator. The application just launched and crashed. So our application has crashed. The reason is, let's go ahead and take a look at the logcat. You can see that we have a problem with binary XML file line number 11. You must apply a layout with attribute. So let's go ahead and give this a layout with attribute. And let's say match parent. That is it. Let's go ahead and run this application once again. Switch to the emulator. 
and now the application works that's because we have the height and width properties so if you're writing your layout using raw XML instead of using the graphical layout editor make sure that each and every view and your view group has the layout width and the layout height properties that's about it and if you have any questions please feel free to ask thank you